Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another drive around with Tim Dowd with Living the Mesh in Tenerife. This is the top of my road, Avenida de la Galga, and we're going straight up over to Playa Paraiso. Here's the banana plantation. Just opposite that is the Rosa Center. This road is not very well uh, designed, it's quite narrow, but if you know the width of your car you should be okay. Now we have the right of way here, so if anybody pops his head around the corner there, he's got to go backwards. They usually be pretty good. Gotta make sure you don't cut the corner here. So here we are on Calle El Orno, which means the oven street. <laughs> now you can get some fresh mozzarella cheese here on the left. And there we have it, Burger King, yay. This is the Rosa Center. I've done a couple of lives from here, upstairs in the, uh, the Razor Bar. So the hotel in front of us is the Rui. All inclusive. And that big white building in right in front of us now was a derelict for 40 years and somebody bought it and made luxury flats. So if you're into a luxury flats, these are for sale. There's also a shopping center being built underneath, I believe. Titanic Pizza and the next door neighbor was our favorite bar, Barco, but it closed a couple of years ago. So we're coming around the roundabout. I'm going to go all the way around here, so don't get dizzy. Italian restaurant. A couple of bars on the left and some shops. Bar one on the right does a good Sunday lunch. And this is the arcade that we were talking about last Friday. So lots of old bars on the right and a few new ones and of course the Hard Rock Hotel on the left there this bar with the red awning has done very well it's like the dollar a pint type bar that you go to and does, does some good chicken as well so to the right down here you get down to the beach and this is the Rocca Navaria this is the same group as that one in Fania Bay it's called the, um, I can't remember what it's called, I'll let you know. I'll, I'll put a little sign on here. So this is the beach club of the Hard Rock Hotel. And in the background, there's the new H10 Atlantic Sunset Hotel. really good up there. They could do with paving the road here a little bit more. So the view out towards Lagomera on the right, just out of shot. Now we're coming up to the shops where the MacMaster and Andrew and Daniel all go for a coffee and they all go to the coffee shop at the end of this strip called the Maison. 
but right in the middle on the other side on the beach side is the sunset club and that is a really nice jazz club i'll uh, i'll go and take a few pictures of that i might even do a live from there next week maybe monday now these colored houses on the right are actually the hotel uh, Bahia Principi same group as the Fantasia one down in uh, by the airport Por ti mi corazón palpita Siempre he sido tu chiquita Cuántos te amos van ahorita Yo ya perdí la cuenta Quiero decirte que te amo Ya van segundos y te extraño Que dure siempre esta casualidad Es que los otros no entenderán So these are all residential complexes When we get to the top of the hill, right in front of you, there's uh, a road going up to Villas. And as we turn right, then on your left, there's going to be some villas that are, were never finished. I think they're trying to sell them now, but they're years old. But they've been refurbished. Not behind those facades on the left there now. So the road going down to the right is going to be down to the Bay Principi. There's two hotels down there, actually. So we're getting the right lane. If you go left here, you go back up to the main road towards the motorway to a, a little village called Arminimi. And we're going right to an old fishing village called El Puetito, which means the little port. There's a lot of permanent campsites down here and I think eventually they might be moved but at least they're tolerated now. You see the start on the left here. Semi permanent. these buildings are derelict but there are people living in them this guy has just arrived looks like El Puetito is also famous for the turtles in the bay. Obviously they're protected and if you do go diving or snorkeling with the turtles, you have to be very careful and you're not allowed to touch anything. There's also some kayaks. You can rent those. Have a little kayak around the bay and this is it. El Puetito. Includes a little chapel. Martian landscape. 
You'll see it on the way back better, but if you look up this valley, when we get around the corner, there's some really weird, I don't want to say rock formations, you can say, or packed dirt formations, I don't know. And again, these little shanty towns. They've been here for years, some of them. To the right of that building in front of us, there used to be a hippie little town there, and that was that was taken down. So there's going to be some slick editing here now. Uh, you see that? Cool. Out in there, Tim of the car. So we changed to one foot. Nice little bar. Pepe y Lola. I wasn't too sure where I was going. And to tell you the truth, neither was I, because I've never been around here before. I've always turned right and gone round the bay. But the tide was well in, so there was no beach. So I thought I'd take a look round the corner here. I'm glad I did, actually. You'll be surprised. that for review. Nothing until Florida. there is an apartment that you can rent for holidays. I was going to go up the steps but I didn't want to follow people up with the camera so I turned right and I'm glad I did. It's a, a lovely view from here. you away back to the pub now. Now the tide comes in and out here quite a lot so usually there is a beach there but it is high tide at the moment and you can rent these canoes. Or just lays with a cerveza or a vino tinto. This guy looks like he's struggling. Beautiful bay. El Puetito. to the car very quickly, jump in and we can scoot back up the hill. It's 
so you can get another look at the little chapel here. And that Martian landscape. a very similar view from my balcony and there's hard rock h10 and we can even see up the hill to mount tady your mind doesn't it we're so lucky to live here just a shame that Christina can't really see much but uh, she likes the smells and the sounds especially walking along the sea El Potito is not really wheelchair friendly, so we've been there a few times, but it's not her favourite spot. Well, I hope you enjoyed the little drive around there. Don't forget to like, subscribe and ring that little bell for notifications. I'm going to go up here and carry on straight up and go shopping, but before I do that, I'm going to turn left. I want to show you where to get off the bus if you want to visit. The bus is the 471 to Playa Paraíso. And you get off right at the end, the last stop. And then it turns around and goes back down. It might actually carry on up here, I don't know to tell you the truth. I've never been on the 471. But uh, if you want to visit El Potito, the bus stops on the left. Thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next one.